Michelle de la Isla is the current mayor of Topeka. She served as a city council member from 2013 to 2018 and deputy mayor from 2016 to 2018. After winning the mayoral election in 2018, de la Isla became Topeka's first Latina mayor and only the second female to serve in the position. Two of her daughters, Christina and Lorraine, currently attend Topeka High School. She will face the winner of Congressman Steve Watkins and Treasurer Jake LaTurner in the November general elections. Michelle de la Isla was born in Puerto Rico. In high school, she participated in Taekwondo and was the editor of the school newspaper. Something she remembers about Puerto Rico politics that is staunchly different from traditional U.S. politics is the competitive and flamboyant nature of the campaign trail. See, in Puerto Rico, politics is a sport. Um, everybody takes that day off and campaigning in Puerto Rico is very different than here in the States. In Puerto Rico, there's this huge car with a whole bunch of speakers and the caravans go through your house and everybody's singing and dancing. Um, so I think that in Puerto Rico, we're taught to be political animals. Although De La Isla was exposed to politics early in Puerto Rico, she didn't see herself involved in politics until she moved to Topeka. Um, but I don't think I ever saw myself involved in politics as an individual until I came to Topeka and started working on downtown revitalization and started bringing young people like yourself up to the podium so that they could testify about what they wanted to see happen downtown. And that's when I finally was like, oh, this is cool. After her work with the downtown revitalization, leaders across Topeka encouraged her to run for city council. However, it was around the kitchen table that her daughters inspired her to run for both city council in 2013 and mayor in 2018. Lorraine looked at me, she said, Mom, if we do that and you win, you're showing me that I could do anything. And Christina just looked at me and she said, Mom, who else cares as much as you do for the city? You need to run for mayor. And, um, and it was just like, oh God. And, and she was right. I love the city. Absolutely love the city and everything that we're doing. So yeah, my kids always have a way of saying the right thing to get me to do things. When De La Isla considered running for Kansas's second congressional district, she didn't want people to focus on her issues, but rather ask the people what their issues were. Since I said that I was interested in running, I started calling and sending letters throughout the district to figure out what people were concerned about. And the first thing that I asked people is, what are the three main issues that you're concerned about? And I've heard over and over and over, health insurance, medication costs, and people are talking to me about the job situation. So my issues are not my issues. The issues that I'm running on are the three main issues that I'm hearing our constituents tell me about. And those are healthcare, they are jobs, um, and their infrastructure. As mayor of Topeka, she believes her tenure and accomplishments as a city council member, deputy mayor, and mayor of Topeka, spanning from 2013 to present day, are evidence enough that she is a bipartisan candidate who will get things done. And although she knows she's different from many people in the district, she believes that people can look past that and look at the issues in front of them. Let's be real of the fact that I, I don't look like the whole district, um, and, and it's okay. Uh, but I am a Kansan. I've chosen to be a Kansan, and I love Kansas. I could be anywhere else. Um, I think that the other issue is the, the whole thing that I'm registered as a Democrat. And I think that one of the challenges that I'm going to have is I'm going to have to demonstrate that the same values and the same work ethic that I've had here in Topeka that hasn't been divisive over whether I'm a Democrat or somebody is a Republican. I see people, period. There is no person that is in a hospital that's concerned about their party when they're in a, in a bed, when they're sick. There is not a person that is unemployed that's thinking, man, I'm unemployed because I'm a Republican or I'm a Democrat. Dale Isla's message to first-time voters and young adults is simple. Your vote is as powerful and even more powerful than the vote of the people that have been voting because you guys are going to be voting for generations to come. You all need to come out. You matter. We need you. I can't do this without you. You all need to come out. You all need to support. You all need to get engaged in Twitter, in Facebook, in Insta. Whatever way you need to make sure that you can communicate and share the messages that we're trying to share that matter to you. You need to be outspoken and tell me what you want to see advocated for in Washington because your voice will matter to me. So y'all need to get activated.